Hello everybody, welcome to the next game in my little weekly uh, thing for October where I play a short indie game for each week of the month. This one's a bit late because of recording conflicts out of my control. So um, yeah, World of Horror. This game is on itch.io and like quite a few games on itch.io, it's you know, like pay what you want for it. Um, the developer does have this available for free, but, you know, it's always nice to toss the creators, you know, a couple bucks. And for $13, as a little Halloween 2017 special, uh, you'll get a game-compatible portrait of yourself, or someone you know. And, yeah, you just place the order and then send a message containing a photo to the developer, and, yeah, you'll get a nice little portrait. So, you know, that's a nice little bonus there. Um... But yeah, as for the blurb on the site itself, uh, the year is 1980X. Disgusting creatures terrorize a small seaside town in Japan as reality starts to crumble, and the old gods reawaken to sate their primal hunger. It's a losing battle, but maybe you've got what it takes to postpone the inevitable. The end of the world is at hand. World of Horror is a love letter to the cosmic horror work of Junji Ito, great guy, and the one-bit aesthetics of early Macintosh computers. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries all over the city and in the realms beyond. So, yeah, this is essentially like, uh... I don't know a way to describe this accurately. Like, a game I played that's, like, most similar to this is Hand of Fate, where it's like a little adventure game where the random cards will shape your adventure... And, like, there are, like, different checks for things like, oh, you pass this knowledge check, so you can do X event, or you can do Y event. So, yeah, like Dungeons and Dragons or something of that nature. And, you know, we got card packs right here. I'm not too sure what these mean or how I can activate them, but they are there. So, yeah, there's that, and of course we have some extras right here. Clear data, photo gallery, unlockables. Where are the unlockables? All these are locked. See, I, I'm not 100% sure how to save my data on this, if it is in, or if it is possible, because this is actually a take two, because the first recording was just filled with me being, like, confused about everything, and yeah, I'd rather not upload that it was not good but right here on options uh, composite filter and we got scale all that does is just change the resolution and whatnot and then we have different color palettes right here so if you want to you know work with this which you know i probably would you know you got that but we're going to stick with standard and yeah let's just go to new story then why not so right here you can change your character different characters have like different uh, starting stats are, and things they start off with. So, for example, Kiri Saito right here, uh, she's a transfer student, and she starts with better knowledge but less strength and gets one random spell. Aiko Takahashi, swimming team captain. She's determined to solve this mystery after barely surviving a, you know, drowning thing. Doesn't have as much knowledge, but she has better dexterity and starts with a flashlight. Ooh. This dude starts with cigarettes because, of course, strength and knowledge. Uh, Yakuza driver, okay. Robbing that old band of manor was a mistake with his friends dead and mutilated and eventual horror chasing them. No speed is too high. Then we got this idol right here with Strange World We Live In where defeating an ancient evil is the easiest way of boosting your career. I would not recommend that, but she starts with a random ally. Better charisma, but less strength. And this dude starts with a camera, because he's a photographer. More perception, less dexterity. Just worth a thousand words, the government won't sweep this one under a rug, because, yeah, obviously stopping the rise of elder gods is, like, something the government is doing. Freaking Alex Jones right there. Oh, it's a false flag! All right, but whatever. So, we're going to stick with the standard character, and then the backstory right here adds... Like, th this is kind of weird, but, like, what backstory does, it just makes the game more difficult or whatever. I, it's hard to explain. It's like it gives you a starting status, if that makes any sense. Well, it'll make more sense once we uh, go through it, but for example, Nervous Wreck. Granted, I wasn't in the best shape back then. 
you start with minus five reason. I don't know why you would want to activate any of these, or even this, like, oh, start with a random injury because you're an escapee. No, thank you. Enigma, this conspiracy runs deeper than you thought, so an additional mystery is needed to win. So that just means you need to solve more mysteries than like what you would normally be required to do. Birthmark, doctor says fine, and I seem to be the only one who knows it's changing shape and forming strange symbols. Random chance of raising or lowering doom in each game day. Yeah, and then we got overlapping memories, random chance of investigating a wrong location. I don't know why you would want any of these. Okay, we're going to stick with standard game, which is called World of Horror. And right here, you have the different old gods. Each one gives you like a different like penalty or something you just have to overcome or deal with during the course of the game. Um, you're required to have one of these. I stuck with the standard one, but like this means that I can't escape from combat. He's like a spider, elder god. But essentially, like, the, each Elder God, like, that's the one that you're trying to stop in that game. This one doubles combat stamina penalties. Oh, dear God, no. This one. Whose name that I cannot read. Casting spells costing reason increases doom instead. No, thank you. Resting increases doom penalty. Why would you even want this? Screw you, Gozu. Uh, but yeah, we'll stick with the spider guy because he's like the standard one, I guess. Then you have difficulty levels, you know, start with four starting funds, word of horror, zero starting funds, and stamina reason can't get above 13. Bad dream, five starting funds, lower doom penalty for shopping and resting. So I'm going to assume that you are timed in that, like, you want to solve all the mysteries before Doom reaches 100%. And then we have the soundtrack right here. We'll, we'll stick with the random, or standard soundtrack and just start the game. And yeah, Atarasu Nacha is once again awakening from its slumber, blinded by the impossible to satisfy hunger. It has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. So yeah, I think that's where the little, like, Doom thing comes into play. So this is our little GUI right here, and then we got things down here. We have no items yet. We start with a random spell. Our spell for today is Seal of Brahma. Plus one knowledge, but it costs five reason. I don't think I want to use that that often, but okay. And our status, our status is fine right now. Um game like this is our current experience and yeah we got options right here you can change the power the volume and all that other junk and the old god uh, impending doom is at zero percent so that's good we have zero out of five mysteries solved you can also press h for a random tip so let's see what our random tip is today stamina and reason are your character's physical and mental health once one of those values reaches zero game ends and yet I have a spell that freaking lowers my reason. No thank you. Okay, so let's go. New mysteries are available. And then on this board you choose which mystery you want to investigate. So right off the bat we have freaky feature of found footage. That is a tongue twister and a half. Horrible history of household hell. Macar memoir of morbid mermaids. Okay. The same thing as that one, and the same thing as that one. Okay, then, uh, let's go with this. Alright, Freaky Feature... Oh my god, Freaky Feature of Found Footage. Three students disappear in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends of the nearby forest. Now, in the first anniversary of the event, a suspicious man started asking questions. He claimed to be a private investigator, hired by the parents of the students. The only thing is, the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he, and what did the students discover out there? Let's investigate. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, in addition to, like, the main things you have to do, like, which is outlined right here under last action, you have an additional quest, which is just, you know, something you can do to get, like, some extra bonuses. So, yeah, for the additional quest, investigate the mansion location twice to complete this quest. I probably won't focus on that because I think that's what screwed me over in my first attempt at this and caused the doom to rise to a pretty bad level. Anyway, you decide to search the missing students yourself. Where should you start? 
Oh, and yeah, I'm being like real lax on the um, typos and whatnot because this was created by a Japanese developer and yeah, you know, English wasn't their first language. So, you know, I'm, I'm just going to, you know, be cool on everything. But for what they did, like for not having English as their first language, this is like really, really good. But okay, so where should you start? Uh, your actions don't seem to play a role when it comes to like the actual um, ew, like mystery thing going on right here, uh, like the events going on in the mystery. So yeah, I don't know. It, it's kind of weird. It, it, it's just kind of weird. I know I'm not explaining it well, but eh, it is what it is. So I should start by checking out downtown. Uh, yeah, it would make sense to check downtown for the uh, missing students. So let's investigate downtown. A sudden knock at the door makes you jump. You instinctively reach for the knob, but stop. Something feeling off. You take a look through the peephole. Outside of your door stands a man in a trench coat with a hand instead of a head. Hi. Uh, the single eye is staring at the door and emotionless. Are you losing your mind? Minus two to reason. Okay. Up next, the notes given to you by their parents mention a village not far from here. You should ask people there. And I feel there are more clues left at downtown, so let's investigate downtown. Mr. Uhu, your neighbor horror manga artist, is struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. Yeah, let's tell him about Hand Face. Oh, not enough experience. Sally, you don't have enough... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sally, you don't have any recent stories that would help him write the ending. At least the public won't experience the same horrors you did. Minus one is sanity, unfortunately. Let's keep our status up. Yeah. All right, the locals won't give you any answer, but an old farmer points you to an old stone the group started their forest trip from. Let's go there. I've checked downtown, the current lead points at the village. I should go there now. It should take me six hours to get there, okay. Investigate the village. A friend returning from a trip to Africa has invited you to dinner. This time they've outdone themselves. This is a real feast full of exotic meals. It's getting late and you can't stay for long, but the host asks if you want to take anything to go. Hell yeah, I'm taking some steak with me. I know you like it, your friend says, winking and packaging it for you. New item, long pig steak. And I thank you for specifying that it's pig steak. And not Soylent Green steak. Because Soylent Green is, in fact, people. Uh, plus three stamina. Okay, alright, alright. But, yeah, my stamina's looking fine right now, so we'll save that. Uh, looking back, one last time at the village, you continue deeper into the woods. Yep, we should go there now. This one currently is pointing to and investigate it. A sudden storm forces you to find a shelter in a nearby cave. Flashlight reveals strange markings on the cave's wall. But I don't have a flashlight. Well, whatever. Let's attempt to recognize. Now let's check success. Okay. Recognize the strange symbols and connect them to the horrors plaguing your town. Yay! Two experience. All paths look the same. Let's hope you are following the right one. Though there are more clues left at the forest. Let's investigate further. Following ghastly music, you find yourself in a forest. The sound is getting closer. Oh no, I don't have an item. I am, or weapon. I am worse off than what I was in the first attempt. But yeah, right here, they're just giving you a little thing on the combat screen. Enemy stats are right here. Uh, move mouse here to check enemy's unique skill. Different attacks give you a different roll bonus. These are additional actions you can take. And each time you attack, a dice roll is made. Higher value wins the turn. All right, we got it. So I am fighting Rib's woman. Obsessed with beauty, she takes the rib bones from beautiful women she kills and connects them to her own What wire. Oh my god. She's like Invader Zim from the Dark Harvest episode of that show. That was a really freaky episode. It was so good. And Rib's melody, whenever she moves or breathes, the wires brush against each other and make a sound. Let me guess, that does something to my sanity or something? Okay, so we can run, but that's hopeless because of the elder guy we're dealing with. Uh, yeah, look for something to defend yourself with. You spot a straight branch lying nearby. And, yeah, I think she attacked me. Uh, wait, wait. Okay, maybe not. Alright, pick up wooden branch! Avoiding the incoming attack, you grab the wooden stick. Okay, uh, attack ribs woman with a branch. You jam the wooden branch in between her ribs, instantly killing her. Wow. I was not expecting that to go that well because um, 
my first fight in this game went very poorly. But okay, uh, yeah, let's resolve this event. That went surprisingly well. You've got a feeling someone is following you in the forest. Yeah, it was Ribs Woman. Well, let's investigate the forest a little more then. Suspicious group you've been following is holding a meeting in a nearby forest. They are enacting some sort of ritual and clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is a large rock. Okay, well, I have no choice. Climb it. Ah, not enough strength. Uh, you fall down and injure yourself. Luckily, you managed to limp away unnoticed. Resolve this event. You know, just play it cool. You know, no, I didn't fall. Oh, thank God. It doesn't count as an injury. Good. Why did I even click that? I was already on status. Yeah, I won't use the stake yet. I'm still doing fine. You find a pile of human teeth lying on a nearby rock. Investigate the forest further. The trees overhead block the sunlight and an atmosphere of gloom settles upon you. Minus two to reason. Oh, no. The ruined house. That's where the missing crew was supposed to go. Investigate site of the ritual. This is our target location. The rumored witch house seems empty in the basement. However, you find a camera pointed at the large hole in the ground. On the table next to the camera, you find three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. Then you hear a curious sound coming from the hole. Peek inside. You kneel down and lean to see what's inside the hole. It takes a while to process what you are looking at. It's a gigantic eye staring straight at you. Oh dear God. Zero Two is in this game. He came all the way from Kirby just to come here. Hypnotized, you continue to lean in, feeling weaker and weaker as the gargantuan beast lures you in. I have no choice but to lose consciousness, huh? The very last moment, you are grabbed by the collar by the, the suspicious man who asked about the group earlier. He explains he is part of a cult protecting the house and the mystery entity below it. He hands you the tapes and says you've got a bigger purpose than to die here. So, rewards for solving this mystery. Knowledge is key. 30 experience. Tireless plus one reason. Stamina. Time passes by one day. I feel I did not earn that victory, but whatever. Okay. Yeah. Deus Ex Machina saves the day yet again. All right. So, yeah, that's essentially how a mystery goes. Um, all right. Oh, so the board changes each time? Okay, then, cool. Well, then, let's go to Alarming Account of Abnormal Arms. This is the one I did when I first tried to record this. And things didn't go so well. So let's try again. I remember when it started. The woman next door was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found, and the apartment remained vacant. Let's investigate this. Also, how am I doing? Oh, Doom's only at 8%. Oh, yeah, we're good, then. Yeah, we're, we're, we're good. We're nice. Ooh, wait. Forest tapes? What is this? Seemingly broken, but maybe you can find a way to repair them. Okay. All right. Uh, the door of her apartment was closed and she lived alone. What other ways... Oh, what other way ends are there? I should start by checking out downtown. Also, music. I guess the music doesn't loop. It's an... It, it, it's a independent game on itch. Cut it some slack. All right. And th that was more like me talking to myself. Like, cut it some slack. Cut it some slack. I mean, it is good for what it is. All right. So let's investigate. You are pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend waiting for a train. During your catching up, you discover she is moderating a web form about paranormal events because she knows something useful. Yeah, chat. How did I fail a charisma check? It's certainly nice to meet an old friend after so many years, but you didn't learn anything important. Well, at least I got some more reason out of that, so that's good. All right, the apartment is on the third floor. There's no way somebody used it to escape the murder scene. Well, let's still investigate downtown. The investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. You feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you address your weakened state? Uh, quick jog around the block. No, take a nap. The world may be falling apart, but you really needed that. Plus one stamina, plus one reason, but plus two doom. And doom's only at 12% right now. We're, we're good, we're good. Maybe. I mean, spoil well, not spoiler, but just fun fact. Uh, in my first recording, after solving one mystery, doom was at like 20-something percent. Not good. I think it was probably because I spent too much time trying to do the additional quest... Well, it probably could have also been like how horrible the fight against this mad clown went. Uh, you notice the odd placement of ventilation shafts there are too small for a man to crawl through, though. Well, let's investigate downtown a little more. 
It's the same friend. Let's chat again. Oh, and my charisma check succeeded this time. Between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you're worrying rumor about an old god slowly waking up to rule the earth once again. Could the reason of the weird events happening... Wait. Could it be the reason of the weird events happening lately? Plus five experience with minus one reason. Man, you should interview the neighbors. Maybe you'll discover something the police missed. Let's investigate downtown some more. Through the restaurant window, you notice a shady-looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house on the other side of the road. Then he turns around as if he was checking for any unwanted follower and enters the house. What could it mean? Yeah, follow him. Why not? Yay, I'm actually doing well with these checks now. Door is locked, but you think you can repeat the knock pattern the suspicious man used. A moment later, the door opens and a surprised teen with greasy hair asks, Who the hell you are? Mistaking nerds for cultists is embarrassing, but deep inside you are relieved. Yay, that staves off the old god a little more. <laughs> One neighbor's complaining about her underwear missing. Oh no. Let's travel to the mansion then and investigate. You stand in an old, run-down mansion room smelling of rotten milk. Ew. This room has only two doors, one of which you came from. Now in this room, you can see the strange person you've been following. Search the room. There's nothing important, but you think you could use this one thing. What is this item? An empty bottle, huh? Can I break it and use it as a weapon? Oh. Well, I could fill it. Okay. That that was fulfilling. Can I do anything with this? Okay, I just discarded it. Thank you. Uh, second neighbor is complaining about weird noises coming from the vents when she's at home. Check the manor, go to the village, and investigate. You try to lose the masked man following you in the narrow streets of the village. You eventually find yourself in a dead end. A branch snaps behind you. Oh no, a cult member. And yeah, like told you, the cards don't really have much to do with the mystery at hand. So you're kind of just going with the flow here. Uh, predict their attack. Some of their attacks are predictable, giving you a better chance. Okay, now tackle the enemy. I, I don't have a weapon, so. Oh my god, really? I passed the strength check? Give me more time to react. Okay, uh, duh, duh, attack. Did that work out in my favor? No, because, yeah, they rolled higher. Oh, my God. Uh, attack again. Oh, yeah, that was good. All right, all right, we're doing good, we're doing good. I'm not doing so hot here. Um, yeah, why am I not kicking if I don't have a weapon? Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, all right. Come on, girl, you got this. I'm sorry? Oh, okay. We tied. And I defeated them. Seven experience? Okay, we're good. What's Doom looking like? Ooh. Eh, no, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Okay, let's check the building plan to find out if there is a place where all the vents connect. Trail to an abandoned Shinto shrine is overgrown and steep. However, it could be an important place to investigate. Take the safe route. So, taking the safe route uh, costs you time, but you get to the top without incidents. Why does the phone keep ringing today when I'm trying to record junk? Hello? Hello? Nothing? No, she's not in right now. Mm-hmm. Bye. Okay, also I might have to add some music in post because this silence is deafening. Uh, so yeah, burnout candle wax and dried blood spilled around the shrine mean a new sinister cult has claimed this location. Plus five experience, but plus two doom. But we're, we're still doing fine. Every room is connected by vents coming from the boiler room. Investigate it. You enter the dark boiler room and trip over pipe, causing... Oh, cursing. You find a light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long rubber yard going around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you smell something vile and rotten. Check the vent. 
When the police arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the arms, detectives find a body of a man stuck in a ventilation shaft. Later, he is identified as the building caretaker. In his closet, police find pieces of underwear and voyeur photos of his tenants. You are questioned thoroughly and eventually released as the murder case is being covered up as a case of unfortunate gas leak. Even though, I mean, it's kind of him that did it, but whatever. So, 30 stamina plus 1 reason plus stamina, and then time passes by one day. Alright. How are we looking here? Two mystery solved. 22% doom. Okay, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. You don't want to go full doom. And I know, like, you know, like you follow the teachings of Dr. Doom or MF Doom, aka Metal Face Doom, uh, you, you know, you might be thinking that Doom is a good thing, but we're trying not to get full, complete, perfect, ultimate Doom right now, okay? We're trying to stave that off. I know, I know, I was alarmed by that too. Uh, Contagious Coma? Oh my god. Just imagine a world if comas were contagious. Let, let's, let's do this, let's solve this mystery. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People trying to wake the patients up result with them falling into coma themselves. The whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated for the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people and how did this strange illness start? Alright, let's check the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the cause. And yeah, I'm just going to avoid doing additional quests. I mean, I know it can help me out in the long run, but I'm just... I'm, I'm just trying to do better than I did on my first attempt. And I kind of am, but still. All right, travel downtown and investigate. As you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package left behind by someone on the seat opposite you, marked with your name. You reach for the package, but hesitate as cold feeling settles into the pit of your stomach. Nothing venture, nothing gain. Hard dexterity check success. As soon as you grasp the package, you realize what you are holding and drop it in horror, plus eight experience. What am I holding? Oh, okay. Uh, who is the patient zero? Let's investigate further then. Uh, the road seems to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. Plus three down. But I'm not trapped there forever, so okay. Oh, that was the wrong thing. I didn't advance the story. I was I should have been paying attention to this. Yeah, let's travel to the school. Oh my god, what's, what's Doom looking at? Twenty-seven percent. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 I need to rectify that. Investigate the school. Now. You catch a glimpse of an art class. Discovering there are so many spirals hidden in your body makes you uneasy. <laughs> what? Okay. okay. Oh dear god, no. Golden spirals. Why? The horror. Uh, you have to sneak in to the hospital and borrow the patient zero's information. Okay, travel to the hospital. Investigate. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols like cattle. Are they preparing a feast for the elder masters? Oh no. Okay, Doom is rising pretty high right now. Uh, feel more clues up the hospital. You've got the name and address. Let's get out of here. But first, as a part of their therapy, some patients took part in art classes. Some of their words fills you with dread. I feel like there's nothing I can really do about like what's going on to my reason right now. Patient Zero's house is empty. You should search it carefully. All right, so travel downtown. Investigate. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When asked what's wrong, she tells you she can't find her mommy. On a backpack lying nearby, you spot the girl's address. Take her home. You advance to the next experience level. Choose one perk from above. Ooh. Hot bath. Improve resting at home. Yakuza card. Additional item slot at the shop. And you get additional die against ghost enemies. Uh, yeah, we'll take second sight. Why not? Uh, you offer to take her home. Once you get there, however, the mother slams the door in both your faces and starts screaming to get her away. The little girl calmly tells you she can take it from here. Let's check experience minus two reason. Okay, I might need to do something about my reason. Additional actions. Oh, uh, yeah, you can go to additional actions and do other things. Oh, uh, you can buy a newspaper. Woo. You shop for items. But Oh my god, these increase doom by a lot. Uh, rest at home increases your stamina and reason. This library gives you new spells, but also increases doom. And hospital treatment can heal you if you have different status afflictions. Apparently, Yakuza card is a status. It's a good one, though. Um, what's, what's doom at? 
Because I could use a weapon. We'll be fine. And yeah, the shop owner is a Shiba Inu. I love it. Okay, allows additional three inventory slots. That'll be good. Um, minus two to enemy combat rolls. Ooh. And plus one stamina. Surprise discount item, but I guess I don't know what that is. Uh... Yeah, I'll take a camera, why not? And I'll go ahead and equip that real quick. Okay. Now, it seems the man dabbled in magic and tried to contact a beam from the Dream Realm. I've checked downtown, go to the hospital and check there. Investigate! Walking through the hospital corridor, you hear a disgusting, slurping sound coming from a closet. Oh no, it's a bloodsucker! Ever increasing chaos is waking up the absolute worst instincts in those people. I'll maneuver him, it's just a freaking zombie. Oh no. Oh, success! Dodge the incoming attack, give you more time to re react. Predict their attack! Ever increasing. Wait, did that work? Oh no, it didn't. My sanity! Okay, uh, look for a weak spot. Okay, I see an opening. This will now be my time to kick! Kick! Just keep kicking! I won! Okay! Uh, the quarantine wing is guarded closely. You must find a way to sneak through. Investigate the hospital. When the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed. They're mumbling something quietly as you pass by. Don't get close. Side, you got <laughs> you've got enough crazy people for a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to uh, relax on my reason right now. There it is, the quarantine wing where it all began. Investigate. Wow, I'm gonna have to mute a lot. Okay, I managed to sneak in. Oh, managed to sneak through the police and reach the quarantine wing where all the coma patients were brought in. Complete silence of this place hits you. When you reach one of the beds, all patients are dead. <gasps> Shaken, you sneak out from the hospital. One thing is certain though, it's the end of this weird illness. That's not a good ending to that mystery. So the people in the comas just died. Okay. Oh, new mystery. Uh, let's see. Very dead arms. Okay, let's 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 do this mermaid one. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. Oh, okay. He's collected every scrap of legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind is snapped, and he's decided it's time to make one of his own using the upper bodies of students as materials. Okay, I had to pause for a bit because of, um, whatchamacallit, uh, distractions, and apparently I unlocked a new costume. Check menu for detail. Okay, menu. It's not here. Status? Um. Okay, I guess they mean the main menu, but I don't know if I can actually go there from here. So, whatever. Okay, another girl from your area has gone missing. Is there anything connecting them? I should start by checking out downtown. Okay. Investigate downtown. When you stop by your home to pick up lunch, find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Read the letters. Luck check success. Sweet, it seems you won a small amount of money in the lottery. Lucky you. Two funds. What kind of lottery is it where you get two dollars? What? Okay. Uh, it seems they all attended the same school. Let's check out for any clues there. Check downtown. Okay, travel to the school. Investigate it. The door shouldn't have been there. It shouldn't lead anywhere. Most well, certainly it shouldn't pull you in. Enter? Slowly you enter the unknown. Where are you? Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. Huh. Temperature abruptly drops and you shudder in the icy cold. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. Sudden wind flings you to your knees. Your fingers and ears are already numb and aching. You must move. Uh, move toward the pyramids. Give up or... No, check the camp. Might find something. Huh. Well, darn. Why was that a charisma check? 
and you don't find anything worth of notice as your skin gets colder and colder. So stamina is down by four, and I now have frostbite. What does this do? Ooh, that is not good. Uh, minus two strength, huh? Doom's at 44, huh? I, I need to address this. I'm sorry. I, I need professional help. I'm not... I, I actually need to travel to the hospital to do that. <sighs> okay. Travel to the hospital. Now. Investigate. Or not investigate, but additional actions. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So, like the entry you want, and then follow instructions. Frostbite. Three funds? Fine. Okay. Hasty aid? Wait, what? So even a wound, discard hasty aid and draw a new injury card. Okay? Can 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 card? Can you? It's it's not going away. Um. I have encountered a bug. Um. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh. All missing girls are members of the swimming team. Maybe someone saw the kidnapper stalking them. Okay, travel downtown. Investigate downtown. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. I, I, no. No, last time this didn't work out well for me. Let the police handle it. Easy charisma check success. A quick interrogation makes it clear you had nothing to do with the gruesome murders. Okay. <laughs> the police rewards you before moving in to secure the evidence. Yay, money. It seems they all attended the same school. Let's check out for any clues there. Investigate downtown further. Something's wrong. You can't see anyone on the street. You could have sworn it was crowded just a minute ago. You'd better hurry out of here. My reason is not looking too swell right now. Could it be as the janitor who's kidnapping all the teenagers? Why would he do that? Okay. Travel to the school. Investigate. Door shouldn't lead anywhere. Try to resist. Force yourself to walk down the corridor, leaving the mysterious door behind. Minus one stamina. Yeah, I'm not doing so hot. Xander is somewhere in the building. You should prepare yourself for combat. <laughs> Investigate the school. When the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens, police had them committed. They are mumbling something quietly as you pass by. It would really help if, like... Well, yeah, if, like, some of these events actually had something to do with where you were... But hey, the developer is actively, like, working on the game and, like, fixing things, addressing bugs and whatnot, so who knows? Like, this, like, things might be improved, like, a month from now or something, so, yeah. Uh, close the door. Oh my god. You may be paranoid, but there is no chance you are risking an encounter with a ghost here. Minus two reason. Prepare for combat. You back off from the toilet as the door slowly opens. A girl in a tattered uniform is standing there. Her head twists in an unnatural way as she makes a roaring, rattling noise. Door behind you slams shut. Oh no, I'm fighting the toilet ghost whose face has been rotated. Two degrees. Or, not two degrees. 180 degrees. No, 90 degrees! My god, I can't read. No special ability, huh? Wow, I'm lucky. Alright, kick the being that's not completely... Wait, what? Okay. Kick the being that's not physical. Ooh. Okay. Oh. This is going surprisingly well. Uh, tied. Ah, uh, no. Oh, no. My god! Outmaneuver the enemy. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, kick again. This is not, this is not going well. Okay, you see an opening. They're dead. Again. Um. Yo. 
Okay, yeah, I, I need to do something about my uh, reason right now. But there are more clues at school. No, no, no. I need to address this. Travel home. And then... Rest. The RNG, the... Do we really need this shot right there? So it feels good to be back at home. You saw the painkillers. Let's do stamina. You phone your best friend and talk about unrelated stuff. Okay. All right. At least we're a little more sane now, but we need to hurry. Investigate school. Catch a glimpse of an art class. Discovering there are so many sparrows in your body makes you feel uneasy. Okay. There is no turning back now. God, let's hope she is all right. Investigate the school basement. You burst through the door to the industrial closet, but it's already too late. The missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress. The upper part, at least, a uh, tail of a fish has been crudely sewed in place of her legs. She was too weak and died, you hear the mad janitor say. He looks you up and down. Maybe you'll do. Stepping carefully over a corpse, the janitor picks up the bloody axe. I am at a very huge disadvantage here. Um, yeah, six health. Okay. All right. Kick. We're tied. Kick. Oh my god. Okay. Kick. This is not going well. At all. Please stop. Okay. Um, let's eat this steak. Also, Discord is kind of going crazy right now. What? What's relentless? You can't escape this encounter. Well, I can't escape regardless. Oh, my status is not looking good. Hunger? I ate! And I have a broken bone. Ah, crap. Okay, uh, yeah, I might be dying here. Predict their attack. That was not... No. Compose yourself. You still have a chance. No, I don't. Uh, kick. This is ridiculous. Uh, I'm... St and hunger lowers my attack by one, I think? Or is that broken bone? I don't know. Um... I have... I'm at a huge disadvantage. Pray. <laughs> it has no effect. Okay, well then, uh, it's gonna be a game over for me. Uh, resisting the unknown horror was taking its toll on your health. Weekend, you finally succumb to your injuries alone. As the dust settles upon your open eyes, reality starts to crumble. Old gods are ready to return once more. I was not expecting that. Um, so, yeah. That's the game. End it with the whimper, not with the bang. But at least I unlocked a new costume, an additional costume for Koji. Oh, and these are things you get for doing the extra missions. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I probably should have been doing them then. Plus... Yeah, I did that. Plus one reason to stamina for completing a mystery without resting. I could have sworn I did that. Oh yeah, I mean it says unlocked. So yeah, unlocked tireless for that. Oh wait! These carried over from my first attempt. I was path after completing a mystery. Okay. Alright, cool. So I did unlock those. Okay, and well, I unlocked one of the possible endings. So I guess get insane. All right, so this is die from your wounds, die from insanity, complete the main game, discover the secret behind a curious gem, or let the old gods awaken. So I guess that's game over by 100% uh, doom. Okay. I think I will give this another shot, but that's going to be it for today. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess tomorrow I'll have like a, well, if not tomorrow, then like sometime this weekend, hopefully, I'll have another like real attempt at beating this. Join the local mafia. Avenge your friends. 
How did I even get this extra costume? I felt like I just got that by sitting there. Avenge your friends, become a star. Unless I have to do something with the other characters. But yeah, yeah, I'll give this another shot. Um, and then I'll also upload, like, my failed first attempt. Just so you can see, like, how confused I was. And yeah, I, I still recommend, like, giving this game a shot. The link for it will be in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, throw the creator a couple bucks. Because... For what it is, it's, you know, pretty well, and, like, they are actively working on it, so, you know, there's that. So, yeah. I don't really have much else to say here. Uh, see you all next time. Goodbye.